What you are seeing is not magic. There are no visual effects. There is only skill and focus in perfect harmony. This is card flourishing. Five young men from Singapore pursuing cardistry as an enterprise and finessing these skills into an art form. These are the Verts, a group of mavericks turning the tables with their unconventional skills. It's the shape of an H. Yes, In Singapore, the Verts are the pioneers of this niche hobby that is beginning to spread its wings. Having been here 10 years ago and seeing only five people now coming up to 72 today is something that I would never have imagined. I don't think we've ever had a Singaporean kind of street gathering that has been this big before. And let's just hang out, have fun. Around the world, the Verts have already gained a huge following reaching across borders with the social tools of a new economy. Their recent viral video, Airtime, piqued the curiosity of the international media. Who are these guys? And what is cardistry? As a homegrown hobby group that started in 2005, the Verts turned pro and incorporated an online enterprise seven years later. Their videos have clocked upwards of 7 million views. To date, their YouTube channel has over 52,000 subscribers from 180 countries. And they are a homegrown success in every sense of the word. But the cut then rolls down the fingers and transitions into a position where I can shoot the cut into the other hand. It's a one-handed like a shot. So, let's get started. Okay. I'm the leader of the Verts. I lead the team, I manage the team. I do a lot of the writing, the tutorials. And I'm the photographer for the Verts. And I also do the video stuff. I never knew that cut flourishing would one day become a business where we could create tutorials and we could sell decks of cuts. I'm a cut flourisher and I do video editing for the Verts. It needs to be done so that I could put videos out there online. I come up with my own material to perform for the Verts. So like, you know, a few moves that we have are by me. Also, I manage the customer relations aspect. I'm the graphic designer. That entails designing the deck and our marketing materials. I'm actually the only member of the group that doesn't exactly flourish. <laughs> and one card is pulled out from the spring. And that is called the Ninja Spring Grab. That's right. <laughs> In mainstream Singapore, it is not easy for niche subcultures to take root, let alone reach across the globe. But the internet has dramatically changed the paradigm. <laughs> This is a red carpet that celebrates the power of media in this internet age. Celebrity video creators from Singapore and abroad are attending YouTube's Animal Fan Fest. Many begin as amateurs from their homes, but are now riding the crest of this new game-changing medium. One of the Fan Fest's key events is the Creator Academy. YouTube channel creators are given training by industry experts on how to increase their digital viewerships even further. As one of the top video creators in Singapore, the Verts have also been invited to the Academy. YouTube creators who have invested in building a community, who have built fan bases, they have gone from being just creators to entrepreneurs, to businesses, and that's creating tremendous opportunities for them. We have a billion people coming to the site every month, and those people have lots of varied interests. This is a great platform for those types of niche subject matters, and there's no geographic boundaries. OP 
be hitting up the U.S. playing card company where our cards are made. It will be so crazy to see where it all comes from. The Verts design and sell their own deck of cards made specifically for cardistry, and they are manufactured by one of the most established names in the market. The United States Playing Card Company, or USPC, is one of the largest card makers in the world. The Verts have been given rare access to USPC's Kentucky facility to understand how the tools of their trade are made. We have this level of access to do what we want to do. In a way. It's really surreal finally being at the USPC, and you wonder why these cards that come all the way from America are supposed to handle that much better. Oh man, that's, yeah, it's a nice deck. <laughs> in this particular line, we take a sheet of playing cards and we cut it into strips, and it runs through a punch, and it punches out the decks one card at a time. Then it gets inserted into a tuck case and sent on down the line to get wrapped, and then we package it up. The parts that I enjoy the most are really when we learn more about the manufacturing process, like how the paper is pressed together, what kind of stock they use. To them, it might just be details of making a deck of cards, but to us, it's insanely important. The Verts have a unique way of going to market with their designs because they tend to enhance the flourishing of the playing cards with the vibrant colors and the geometric patterns. It's really rare for us to see the cards in action. These guys are really talented, and to see them manipulate the cards, it's just astounding. Seeing what the Verts can do, USPC is now considering opening the doors to a new market. We can join in a partnership to understand more about how to go to market for flourishing. We've seen the possibilities that are now available to us. It's pretty mind-blowing. It's an exciting future ahead. Card flourishing has its origins in magic. Simple flourishes were used to embellish magic performances. And that was where Huron got his start. He still performs magic at events occasionally. The goal of magic is that you have a secret that you hide. And the larger and more successful your business becomes, the more your secrets get out there. And I rubbed that You know why I rubbed that But I wasn't happy. I didn't feel fulfilled. I felt like I lost something. Work that meant so much to you, that's so priceless, it's just out there like that. Yeah, open, open. In between the two cards. <laughs> For cardistry, we feel like we have that opportunity to create history with it. When I teach something, I don't feel like I lost something. I feel like I'm building something. Obviously, there's one, two, three, four aces. Say stop anywhere. So it's one, two, three, and four aces. Paul Wilson is a friend of Kevin from The Verts, and he is in town to conduct a magic workshop. A renowned American card magician and sleight-of-hand expert, Paul has witnessed the evolution of cardistry from magic. You encountered these little flourishes as you're learning card magic that have been incorporated with the art forever. Some people, at some point, went a little further. In the early 90s, when I first saw it, they weren't strictly magic. It was just something very elegant and beautiful with the cards. As you saw more and more of that, there was resistance within the magic community because the magic community would say, well, that's not magic. But I started to notice that the people that were really doing this well were segregating the two. Two of these magicians who dabbled in this new art were Dan and Dave Buck. Hey, how's it going, guys? Good, 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 good. Hey, what's up? Today, the American duo are known as the fathers of cardistry. And we came up with like some more ideas for cardistry con the idea of having a theme for each day. I think that's a really good idea. Dan and Dave Buck, aka the Buck Twins, are two of the most influential figures in the cardistry scene. Cardistry is juggling with playing cards. It's entirely skill-based. It was really born through the video medium. It's combined with music, and graphics, and fancy editing. We are actually collaborating with them on the upcoming Cardistry Con. You know, imagine your heroes come down and say, hey, let us work together. And that's what it feels like. What's up and welcome to the basic mechanics of the Cascade, and it's time for us to go hands-on. Having learned from other international cardists like Dan and Dave Buck, 
The Verts then began in 2005 to create their own videos promoting the art of card flourishing. Close enough. But will they be able to break past barriers to reach the mainstream in their homeland? A lot of people have this impression that card flourishing is completely linked to gambling. So have you tried any card flourishes before? Naturally, we'll want to look at the possibility of teaching them flourishing. Card flourishing and magic should be separated. Inspiration plays an important part in every art form. The Verts are at the THE Dance Company to learn from an old friend. I met Huron in the Singapore Armed Forces Museum and Drama Company. This is where I've trained him how to be a dancer. As our videos also progress, we are, we are trying to move it where it's not so much a time box of just the hands, but it's movement is for people to appreciate. How they use the card is like our body movement. The dancers use a lot of movement also. It's, it's contemporary, we're going to do this. The card also spin. When we were watching them rehearse, it's so cool that they have like an immediate non-verbal language to communicate between themselves. With card flourishing, there's no interpretation. The packet flies in the air, looks cool. But for this, there's a lot more depth that I think card flourishing has not reached yet. We haven't developed that technical vocabulary where the structure is so strong. As we push the art forward, our understanding will grow, and the art will grow along with it. Apart from online tutorials, the Verts have been trying to start cardistry as a co-curricular activity, or a CCA, in Singapore schools. We've always loved teaching, so naturally we'll want to look at the possibility of creating a CCA. There have been CCAs on, say, magic, but there's not really been one focusing on card flourishing or cardistry. Hopefully, what they get out of it is not just ability to shuffle cards, but a skill that is much more valuable than that. What's up? Hi. My CC is actually the Magic Association Club. A small group of friends sitting down together sharing magic. Cool. So have you tried any card flourishes before? So who wants to learn like a simple flourish? A lot of people have this impression that card flourishing is completely linked to gambling. Each packet, right, must feel like a wooden block. The main problem is school. They think you take out card means gambling. And then I drop my hands a lot more. Do you see how far my left hand drops? A deck of cards is just a tool. It can be used for gambling, but it could also be used for something like card flourishing. It is what people do with it that makes a difference. Have you ever like, you know, like giving up? Of course. The truth is that you're always going to feel discouraged. You're always going to feel like giving up. But what I do from there is what counts. After today's workshop, I'm a bit motivated by what they did. A new interest bubble up. So when I move it, it's like one piece of wood. Maybe have a go with it. Hope I'm as good as them. Ah. An early morning delivery from the United States playing card company marks a step closer to the launch of the Verts' latest deck. Here it is, 18 grosses. The gross is one unit. Inside, there are 12 boxes. Each box is called a brick, and in that brick, there are 12 decks. At the private launch, every single person is going to get one deck for free. And about I think 12 people have already reserved multiple bricks, right? One brick is 12. That means that the decks that we brought in for ourselves are going to be much less, so we'll probably have to ship in more decks from the USA, but. I guess it's a good problem to have. With e-commerce, the Verts are able to sell their decks to anyone, anywhere. But just hours before online sales begin, a coding glitch causes a two-hour delay. Because of the web issues, we had to delay the early bird launch twice. Then I had to delay the main members by two hours. If I tell them now that now you can't buy a deck, they're going to kill me. Yeah, we have problems. After much troubleshooting, the online sale finally begins, and orders pour in from around the world. Phone's just hanging and going crazy. I think we sold out like half our stock. Half? It's insane. We've never ever had such a big response before. This is like the total amount of orders that we sold for our first deck, and this just happened within four hours. This is what we've been waiting <laughs> for, man. Yeah, man. 
from here, the next step will be to figure out how much we're going to reprint and we've got to let them know soon so that the cards can come. More unconventional youth subcultures are flourishing in Singapore. Cardistry has also been catching on, riding the online fame that the Verts have been gaining. And today, this virtual fraternity meets for the launch of the Vert Spring Summer 2015 deck. The decks feel really good. They separate really nicely when you do your fans. The color is very nice. It's popping. I like it. They're the biggest contribution in the car industry scene because they have truly inspired a lot of people to follow their flourishes. Okay, now you're going to flicker and Charlie at the same time. I've been flourishing for five months now. The birds detailed tutorials help to contribute to the community because you have lesser mistakes. Good. Okay. In this age of the internet, online tutorials have allowed even niche hobbies to win new fans. And what happens with that is that there's very little control, so it's not easy to flip it to the top. In fact, it's very easy for the card to just fall to the floor because, look... Some problems I face as a relatively new card flourisher is not being able to get much advice from my friends. I only have one friend who does card flourishing. When you just start a new flourish, you don't exactly do it that well because who does it perfect on their first try? Like, seriously. It takes practices, putting a lot of effort into learning it, and it builds up in your muscle memory. So next time when you do it, it's pretty much just quite natural. But my mom's supportive. She even tried learning once. I saw her watching Flickr tutorial and never doing it again. Cardistry is a small community and not everyone knows about it. But at a time going viral will make Singaporeans proud because it's Singapore talent. Practice makes perfect, but it also makes the body vulnerable to fatigue or even injury. Ultimately, it's about longevity. Considering that there are many, many more years ahead of us, it'll be interesting to find out things that we can do that continue to preserve it. Hey, what's going on? Hey, good to see you. You've seen all there are lots of nerves, tissues, and tendons in the human hand, right? Yogesh Todd Volker is an ergonomics specialist who identifies biomechanical risks in work environments. If you stretch something, you know, like your muscles, and if you let go, you'll come back to normal. But if you keep on stretching, right, there'll come a point where you'll actually... <laughs> Basically, you're screwed, screwed, right? <laughs> <That's all> Ergonomic <laughs> solutions and exercises help prevent injuries caused by repetitive stress to their hands. When you get an injury based on repetition, it's very accumulative. By the time you feel the pain, it's not something that you rest for 5-10 minutes and it'll be gone. It's something that is built up over a period of time. I guess this, it puts it in this position. Now you're actually putting some stress on the medium now because you're doing it with these two hands. A lot of it is isolated. It's either purely for the wrist or purely for the fingers. I would love to work with him to come up with new exercises, have it be more holistic. Today's session might have earned the Verts another fan to join the ranks of many others. Oh. Yes. yes! Yes! I just received this from Virtuoso. Bài đang cực kỳ hot tại Việt Nam cũng như toàn thế giới. Awesome deck of playing cards. From Ho Chi Minh City to Munich to San Francisco, fans are uploading videos as a tribute to the Verts in appreciation of their skills and craftsmanship. After months of planning, the Verts will finally get some face time with this global fandom. We're going to New York, and I'm really excited. We'll be hitting up for Cardis Recon. We're going to be meeting a lot of skilled international flourishes. Many excited fans. It should be good. The Verts have arrived in Brooklyn, New York. It is one day away from Cardis Recon the world's first standalone gathering for the art of cardistry. Cardist Dan and Dave Buck are the co-organizers of this conference and the pioneers of the art form. It's my first time meeting Dan and Dave. We talked about all sorts of random things, not just cards. That's when it transcends from the card community to like a relationship where you become like friends. 
So today's Kadeshri Khan, the best people from the entire world is like kind of gathered together in a single room and there's a lot of exchange of ideas. It's so amazing to meet so many of my friends. It's exactly how I imagined they would be. Sure, I know who the are. I think I'm pretty much their biggest fan. I love their cards. <laughs> I have 10 of their decks, and they're like my inspirations, and it's crazy that I get to actually meet them. They have the technical ability, the philosophy. Anyone can do it with practice, but there's only a few people that really understand it. Please welcome the Berks from Singapore. As co-organizers and headliners of Cardistry Con, the Verts are also invited to speak and share with the community. We paid attention to things like the spiral here. What is the size of the spiral? In the past, card flourishers used only ordinary poker cards for cardistry. The Virtuoso deck is the first and only deck made for flourishing. And this has caught the attention of new players to this fledgling market. You've been showing today, close my mind. Cardamundi is the number one card company in the world. We work for like the big brands like Monopoly, you know, and Magic the Gathering. Global card makers like Cardamundi are now seizing the opportunity to place their bets on the growing cardistry community. Cardistry wasn't really on our catalog and that frustrated us because we were seeing so many young and talented and inspiring individuals. It was about time we started doing something for cardists. It's great that card manufacturers are paying more attention to the card flourishing market because it's growing and there's the potential for it to become as big as Magic the Gathering. When you move away from the idea of like gambling and magic, it becomes a lot more pure as an art. Our goal is to really advance the art of cardistry and create an avenue for cardists to be recognized and to make a living. The Verts are stars in the craft globally but their hearts are still very much rooted to home. Singapore is celebrating its 50th anniversary of independence. The Verts are working on a deck dedicated to Singapore with designs of familiar local icons. It's their own unique way of telling the world about their island home. I just wanted to share with you guys the prototype we did of the Icons of SG deck. The deck basically is made up of all the 50 icons of SG50 because of the red bands at the opposing corners, uh, they actually connect together to form a spread. We take away the numbers and the pips of regular playing cards and we put in the icons. So there's no association with gambling. Ta-da! Oh, okay. We've got a lot of cardistry talent in Singapore, so it'll be very cool if the rest of the island can recognise that. I hope the world recognise that these guys from a very small country like Singapore could propel card flourishing as an art that is well known all over the world. I want Singaporeans to say, hey, maybe I could be one of the best in the world as well. And to have them know that Singapore can be part of this niche art, I think that would be very nice for Singapore. Yeah.